your man Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what y'all waiting for, but go ahead and subscribe to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. So Jay-Z, you know, he doesn't do many interviews. We haven't heard many public appearances from Jay-Z, especially since he's hitting that billionaire status. He's almost like a, uh, I don't know what to call him, but when you hear him say things, when you hear him make statements towards certain things, it definitely creates headlines. And surprisingly enough, he's made some statements, some surprising statements, not only on Clubhouse, but on Twitter. And today, he did just that as well. Now, it all started when Questlove, the legendary drummer from The Roots, responded to a fan who spoke about the second album of Jay-Z, which was titled In My Lifetime, Value 2. Now, obviously, throughout time, a lot of people have uh, coined that album as being one of his worst albums. Here's what Questlove had to say about that. He said, our main argument is his hate for Volume 1. He is embarrassed for trying to make a monster and not putting numbers up, but a lot of his LP contains his best moments. Fight me at SC. He also goes on to say, Main and one questions. We ride with it. I know what girls like. Got shafted two pop culture classics that might have went over the head in '97, but I was there for joy. Imagine or Im imaginary created hove. LOL. Shit built me on the real streets slash friends too, etc. I'm running out of space. This join knots. When you hear players, you got two sides to choose. You want to be the cat who got the leathers, or you want to be the cat asking the cat if you got the leathers. I wasn't thinking big then. I was living in my smallness in 97, but I knew I was never going to be the latter. Now, Jay-Z responded to Questlove's original tweet, and he said this, agreed, more so, I knew what could have been done, so it haunts me. Streets is Watching was the first song I made. Now, everybody remembers the classic Reasonable Doubt that came out in 96, and then he followed it up in 97 with In My Lifetime. And I think a lot of people kind of put it in the shadows of Reasonable Doubt because of the classes that he had on there. But like Questlove said, you got City is Mine, I Know What Girls Like, Imaginary Player, Streets is Watching, Friend of Foe 98, Lucky Me, Who With It Too, Face Off, Real Niggas. I mean, the list goes on and on of dope records by Jay-Z. And when we kind of bring it to, to as a, in a totality, as a whole catalog, In My Lifetime, Value 1, Definitely stands as test of time. Maybe not as one of the best, then that's just up for argument. But when you think about the catalog as a whole, Jay Z's entire catalog, entire work of art, in my lifetime, Volume One definitely holds strong in its own place and in its own time. But y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all, let me know what y'all think of Jay Z jumping on Clubhouse and Twitter and answer a question. I think it's dope. I think it's different. But he definitely does it on his time, and it, it kind of shows me that he's definitely watching what's going on on the internet what's going on with him and, and, and talks about him and things like that but let me know in the comment section what y'all think in my lifetime value one was it worth it was it trash was it um underrated like quest love seems to be alluding to man y'all let me know right now in the description box or in the comment section excuse me also vhiphopnews.com the official website of viral hip-hop news go check it out right now got articles got content that won't be shown on youtube which is way too hot and raw for youtube but i appreciate each and every one of y'all who subscribed to viral hip-hop news until next time until next story hey man i'm the ceo sam ant checking out love y'all peace Said, oh God, you the man, Cass I spit white like a clan mask And I'm a hustler I could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags Some things can last But this ain't just a podcast This is Sam Ant and Oh God, Cass Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.